Winwood, the story of Valerie. It's 11 past 10. This is 3BA's Bellarant Today. We're here thanks to Ryan's IGA and Bellarant's Cheapest Cars. Good morning to you from Brett Mack. What happens when you mix classical music together with jazz and rock? It's an interesting fusion combination. You get this thing on vinyl called Mr. Wizard. <laughs> Let's find out about this brand new album this morning from Ballarat Gal. Currently studying at the VCA, if you don't mind. Izzy Skinner. Izzy, good morning to you. Good morning, Brett. Thanks for having me. Welcome to Ballarat today. Thank you. I don't think I've ever had someone come to the studio with a vinyl record, a big one, a 33 and a third under their arm. Well done to you. Well, it, you know. It looks really impressive. Thank you. And you've got, you're on the cover, as you'd expect. You're the star of the show here, yeah. but you've got a special friend next to you. I do. I have my dog, Jari. <laughs> he got a lot of treats to sit still for that picture. Well, he, uh, he's played his part very well. Tell us about Izzy Skinner as a kid. Were you one of those all singing, all dancing types? Well, not really. I kind of went to a starter school and um, they teach music early on in the curriculum. Mm -hmm. And I loved the violin the minute I picked it up, really. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I just, um, I used to wag PE to go and practice. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it was just, I loved it immediately. And, um, yeah, I just decided early on that this is my passion. Okay. And I just do this for my whole life and try to make a living out of it. Good on you. Not only the violin, though, is he? What else do you play? Oh, well, I do a bit of singing, I play a bit of bass and a bit of guitar. Shut off. <laughs> so many overachievers on this program. It is unbelievable. Now, tell us what happened during COVID when things got locked down. Well, as you can imagine, it was pretty weird, you know, being in a band and not being able to see each other physically in a room. Mm. So um, recording became a focus of, like, all our activities. So a lot of my band members, like, recorded to a click track and we sent it to each other and uh, mixed it that way. And it was a bit frustrating at first. Mm. But I did find a love for recording and then I got into composing from there. So all the songs on Mr Wizard uh, are, are your tracks? You've written them all? Yeah. One is a rearrangement of a Scarlet Rivera tune and um, another tune by um, Papa John Creech. Okay. But the rest are all mine. Classical jazz and rock together. <laughs> What were you thinking, Izzy? <laughs> well, honestly, um, I've always loved rock the best, mm -hmm. but um, to study music at the VCA, mm -hmm. it's either classical or jazz, so I had to make a choice. <laughs> and um, I chose jazz because classical was a bit strict <laughs> for yeah. my artistic needs. What's it like studying at the VCA? That's the Victorian College of the Arts. This is high-end stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's next to the National Art Gallery of Victoria. Mm -hmm. um, it's great. Um, I'd recommend everyone audition. If you get in, it'll change your life. You know, um, there's a great atmosphere there. All the people are really supportive. And um, they'll allow you to, like, do everything you want. And they'll support you with, like, they have a storeroom of equipment. They sent me good microphones for a violin during lockdown. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, they've got heaps of cool stuff. There's actually a studio there. And if you study there, they let you in. And um, you So get... that's where Mr Wizard was recorded? Um, that's where the third track was recorded. Oh, OK. We got, like, half a semester snuck in, <laughs> and we managed to do that. Then the world went crazy, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, OK, OK. Now, we're going to play a little bit of Mr Wizard this morning. Now, this is a track, Izzy, called The Lake. And uh, as I mentioned, you are a Ballarat gal. You have taken inspiration from Lake Wendaree. How do you convert our beautiful lake into music? Well, it was a bit difficult, but also not really difficult at all, because um, we walk the dog there quite a lot, and it's always, you know, quite beautiful and breathtaking, and I was like, wow, that's really inspiring. So I used a loop pedal, and um, I created layers to kind of represent the water and all the natural elements around the lake, and I tried to bring in variation through that, and I think it's a fun song. I think you've achieved that. Let's have a listen, and you might talk us through some of it, uh, Izzy, on what the lake sounds like. If you've always wondered what Lake Wendaree sounds like <laughs> in music, today's the day. So that's you on the violin? It is, and um, I have pits lines, and um, that clicking sound is also me with my bow tapping on the strings. And um, I tried to make a spacious kind of watery vibe. I'm not sure if that's coming through. <laughs> Can you? Yeah. I tried to use legato tones and I kept it all in one tonality 
to represent a calm day. Sounds very soothing. You're absolutely you. right. Calm and, and soothing it is. Is that sort of a theme of, of Mr. Wizard? Um, for some of them, it's it's quite a range of genres. Like the first track, Mr. Wizard, is alternative rock, and there's a tiny bit of yelling in there if you're into that. <laughs> um, the third track is um, in Spanish, and it's a bit of a Latin jazz fusion. And um, I've got, like... Five instrumentals. One's bluesy. Mm -hmm. you know, one's called banjo song. It's a bit sad and folkloric. Okay, so if you want an album full of surprises, full of mm. different moods, Mr. Wizard is for you. Why the name, Mr. Wizard? What's that all about? <laughs> well, I think the first track is the best track, and um, yeah, I don't know. I like a bit of <laughs> wizardry, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no real deep and meaningful meaning behind it. You just like wizards, right? Yeah, I think yeah. so. And it suits the colour scheme. Yeah. It's a bit mystical. <laughs> That's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, Izzy, as I mentioned at the top of our chat today, you brought your album in on vinyl. Yeah. Why did you choose to go all retro on us? Well, I think retro is coming back. Um, um, I have an extensive collection of vinyls, and I've always liked holding them and like looking yes. at the cover and don't art. don't we miss that? Yeah, and it's good to have like a physical representation of your music because everything's strange these days. And um, if you buy my vinyl, you'll be directly supporting me. Shameless plug here. <laughs> warning, warning. Shameless plug. Exactly. <laughs> Seriously, you, you can buy this if we um, Google Izzy with a Z Skinner. Exactly. You'll be able yep. to pick up Mr. Wizard. Yeah, my website's on godaddy.com. <laughs> <laughs> and more music in the works, Izzy? Yeah, I'm just finishing up my honours year and I'll have an album out soon. And it's got Carnatic Indian music and First Nations Aboriginal music. And the interesting twist to this tale, Izzy, is that uh, some of the COVID payments that we were lucky to receive, you actually thought, aha, I know what to do with this, <laughs> and you've actually put it to word, towards getting the album pressed on vinyl. Yeah, I mean, it's not cheap, but no. it's absolutely worth it, I think. And now if I, when I get back into live gigs, I can mm. say, buy vinyl after <laughs> <laughs> You're even better than me at the shameless plug. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Izzy, it's been wonderful to meet you today. Uh, folks, Mr Wizard is out now. Just Google Izzy Skinner and you will come across it. And there's uh, lots of her music on uh, YouTube and all those other channels. Izzy, keep up the good work. Thanks for sharing Mr Wizard, Wizard with us on Ballarat today. Thanks for having me, Brett. Year 12 formal. It was supposed to be the best night of Ballarat.